Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, July 19th, 2018. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. All right, I'm going to do a little reading today. I'm in Matthew, um, and I, I'm in uh, chapter 12, and this is um, uh, the sin of blasphemy. You know, this is when uh, they blaspheme Jesus. And uh, I'm in chapter 12, and I'm going to start from um, chapter uh, 12, verse 22. Then it was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb. And he healed him insomuch that the blind and dumb spake and saw. Now this is uh, Jesus. They brought to him this um, disabled person, and Jesus healed them. And all the people were amazed and said, Is this not the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out devils by Beelzebub, the prince of devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts, and he said unto them, Now this is Jesus talking. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Now, we see that in families when people get divorced and um, they are fighting so much within the family. There's no God there. There's no tolerance. There's no patience. There's no uh, presence of God within them. And they break up. Because, you know, God says about the family, he says, if you're unyoked and you're married, okay, you're not married to a believer, you ought to become the light in that household. And you uh, uh, possibly can win your spouse over through uh, allowing Jesus to come through your vessel and show the loving kindness and the wisdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that that you may hope to have an effect, a positive, uh, godly effect on that spouse instead of just leaving them. Uh, and the same thing with a country. Um, we see our own country, United States, divided against itself. We have the, and they're doing it through a political means. You know, uh, left wing and right wing. And politics itself is devised by Satan to divide people. And now that evil is rising more, uh, people are doing more horrific things to each other and breaking uh, the, uh, they're crossing the line in the sand to do illegal things to each other and they get away with it. See, this is the rising of Satan because the world is becoming divided and it's going to bring, it's going to come down. This is the division. It's called bifurcation where the two, the two seeds separate. <clears throat> and uh, Jesus continues to say, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. So how shall then his kingdom stand. So this is Jesus, the amazing Jesus, telling the critical and cynical Pharisee that if, if I cast out a devil and I'm Satan, then I'm divided against myself. How, how amazing is that? And if I, by Beelzebub, cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Yeah, because he cast it out, and now you are free from the bondage that occupied your vessel. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. 
He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And this is what I say about the once saved, whole, uh, always saved people. They don't have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So that when they see someone who has the Holy Spirit and they are walking in the ministry of the Holy Spirit, uh, being perfected by the ministry of the Holy Spirit, they accuse their righteousness of being filthy rags. Okay, this is blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Okay, it's an unforgivable sin. Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven to him. But whoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him neither in this world or neither in the world to come. And this is why there's that outer darkness and gnashing of teeth, because they are so ignorant, these people, that they, they really don't understand what they're doing. You notice these once saved, always saved people, they don't even refer to, to the Father because they're not connected to the Father. Because when you truly believe in Jesus Christ, and you're truly saved, you reconcile with the Father. You have holy communion with the Father. The only thing these people can spout is scripture. They don't get anything from the Lord. They're not, there's no wisdom in there because they just keep repeating the same blasphemy over and over and over again. You have to wake up to this people. Stop following these hypocrites. Okay? They're going down. And that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope you understood a little bit more about who Jesus really is, his ministry, and these frauds that are floating around all over the place. Don't fall for it, people. Come to Jesus, stay in Jesus, believe in Jesus, receive the Holy Spirit. Be blessed.